Okay, in this video we are going to deal with the removal of mildew spots uh, using a chlorine and water solution on parts of your stroller that you can't get into a washing machine. So this is the canopy from a SEMO stroller and this is definitely one of those uh, sorts of things. It has metal ribbing through it and it's uh, riveted in place. The fabric is riveted to the metal in a lot of places. So it would be a very big deal to take off all of the uh, mechanical elements so that I could put the fabric directly into a machine. So uh, when you have a situation like this where you have mildew but you can't use a washing machine, um, what you're going to need to do is to soak the fabric in a water and chlorine solution. The first stage of this, because all fabrics are different, um, is going to be to test how the fabric is going to react to the chlorine. Uh, in most cases, stroller fabrics uh, work really, really well with chlorine. They tolerate a uh, high concentration of chlorine in water uh, over short periods of time, of course, without really having any sort of discoloration at all. But what you're going to want to do to be safe is to take uh, chlorine and mix it 50-50 with water and then find a hidden spot on the fabric of your stroller and test a tiny bit, uh, an area where it wouldn't uh, kill you if it got a little bit discolored. Leave it for 10 minutes or so and see whether it's had any discoloration effect. If it hasn't, then you're good to go. In that case, just rinse out that spot well with water. The only problem you're going to have with chlorine usually uh, on most stroller fabrics is if you leave it soaking for far for too long, basically. Uh, so what you're going to want to do then with something like this is you're going to want to take the, the element of the stroller that you need to remove the mildew from and you're going to need a very large uh, um, either bathtub or basin that you can use to soak down uh, the element, uh, be it a canopy or uh, a seat or something else. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to soak the entire canopy. I'm just going to soak part of it in this as a demonstration. And um, I put some water in here and we're going to add some chlorine. I'm not going to give you the exact measurements for this. It's different based on the uh, amount of mildew and the types of fabric being affected. But what you're going to basically want to do is uh, not exceed certainly 50. It's going to be more like a quarter to a third to start with. Uh, you're going to mix it in with water. Then you're going to submerge the fabric. In this case, I'm just doing it on one side. But of course, if you have a large enough basin, you'll submerge the whole thing or you'll submerge one affected area and then turn whatever fabric piece it is and submerge the rest. You want to get the entire element submerged at some point, soaked through. And then you're going to watch it. And if you don't notice that the spots begin to lighten up within five or even 10 minutes, certainly not more than 10 minutes, if you don't notice a change, it means you need to add more chlorine to your solution. Uh, after adding more chlorine to your so solution, you're of course then going to need to resubmerge the entire element and again wait 10 minutes in order to check it. Once you have it starting to lighten up, you of course wait until it's gone, but you want to keep track of this because as soon as the spots are gone, you want to take the canopy and put it under running water, not the canopy, the fabric element, might be a canopy, but it, whatever fabric element it is. Put it under running water. A shower is great for this. Uh, and if you use cold water, by the way, instead of warm water throughout this process, then the fumes from the uh, chlorine uh, won't be as strong. Uh, so in any case, as we're going to do this as an example, we're now going to leave this and we're going to check in on it and check that uh, the spots are starting to lighten up within five or ten minutes. So it's been about five minutes and we can already see that several of the spots are gone. There are still several dark spots, but we do definitely see a change. So that means our solution is going to be fine. So we're going to leave it here, of course, until it's um, until the spots are completely gone. But I just wanted to say what to do afterwards. Again, you're going to want to rinse it thoroughly, like in a shower, uh, with running water. Rinse it completely out. Afterwards, uh, you can use a bit of soap, maybe rub it down with a sponge with some soap and then rinse it again so the soap works its way through. 
Uh, with some notes again on concentration, the chlorine we used was a generic type. It was at 2.4% concentration in the bottle. Uh, of course, if you're using some sort of more highly concentrated chlorine, then you want to think about watering it down more. Uh, that's just sort of a common sense sort of a thing. Um, so, but you want to try a little bit and, and get it to a proper concentration so that it's strong enough to work, but of course not so strong that it's going to be dangerous. You of course want to use rubber gloves while you're doing this. Provided that you rinse out all the chlorine, you wash the fabrics, uh, you want to wipe down with soap and wash uh, whatever plastic or metal elements uh, are showing. Uh, this is less of a safety thing and more a matter of not having any sort of caulking effect uh, if any chlorine stays on it. The, the chlorine should be there in order to get rid of the mildew. After that, you need to remove the chlorine. Provided you do this, there's nothing dangerous with using chlorine uh, for removing mildew. I know a lot of people are worried about what they wash their strollers with, what sort of chemicals are used, uh, but chlorine, provided you remove it completely, you air it to dry or after it's washed, uh, let the smell fade away. Uh, it's a very commonly used cleaning product. If you go and stay in a hotel, the reason those sheets are nice and white is because they're cleaning them with chlorine and it's been used for uh, hundreds of years, I think. Um, but in any case, that is how you would go about removing mildew spots from uh, fuller, uh, stroller fabric elements that you can't wash in the washing machine. If you can wash these fabrics in the washing machine, uh, we have other videos that show you how to use chlorine in your washing machine, which is a lot uh, easier uh, method of removing the mildew. But if you can't do that, then this is what you have to do in order to remove the mildew spots from your stroller. We hope that this video has been helpful to you. If it has been, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you. This is just a quick PS. Uh, my cameraman insisted that we see the end results. As you can see, that entire section is now completely free of spots. So this method does work. I'm going to go take this in the shower right away and uh, rinse out all that chlorine. Thanks again.